Jamie, I think we're ready to go. Is the closed circuit working? Perfectly. Dr. Nelson will have a clear view of the procedure and he'll talk you through it. He's standing by in Denver. Yeah, he's on a line with Ronnie now. They're talking about the setup. I can't believe this is happening, John. Those latest MRIs? Sure are. Take a look. Looks like the bullet is even closer to the cord. It must have moved during the seizures. It's practically sitting on the cord. One millimeter off. I know. If I damage the spinal cord during surgery, we could paralyze Jake or lose him. Jamie, I know how close you are to Marley, but don't you think you're a little too personally involved in this? John, if Jake dies, Marley's charge could become murder. All right. We just take this one step at a time, okay? Yeah. Have you called Marley? No. Would you like me to? No. I don't want her out here worrying for the next two hours. I'll call her when we get the damn bullet out. Jamie, Jake's prepped and the team is scrubbed and waiting. Let's do it. Look awful. Thank you. Are you sure you're all right? Fine. Because you slammed in here and tore into the bathroom like it was nobody's business. It was an emergency, okay, Vicky? Sure. And if I look awful, it's because my car was practically doing 360s in the snow on the way home. Oh, because I was worried about you. Well. I'm fine. Something is wrong here, and Don't it has nothing to do with start. the weather. Marley, tell me what is going on. Something is wrong. You're right. All right, I knew it. I've made a decision. It sounds serious. It is. Vicki, you're not going to testify at my trial. I'm not going to let you try and shift the blame. Onto yourself just to throw the jury. That's fine. No, Mar no tricks. And this is the last time we're going to mention it. Oh, I'm very sorry, but no, it is not, my dear. Vicky, I talked to Cass today. The press is all over this case, and they've been trying to sensationalize it since day one. If we want to impress the judge and avoid a mistrial, then we can't let this turn into a three ring circus. Avoid a mistrial if we. And don't you even think about it. This is no joke. I don't hear anybody laughing. Then let's drop it. Did Cass ask you to have this little chat with me? No. Haven't I gotten us this far without any help from I Cass? Cass? He's all I have to hold on to right now. You can hold on to me! We're in this together, Marley. Why can't we... Don't start, Vicky. Did Cass say something to scare you, honey? Everything is fine. No, it's not. I've been having this really weird feeling about you all day. You know, you have? Yeah. I mean, it... 
You're in some kind of trouble, aren't you? I've just been thinking about the trial beginning next Friday. Who is it? Sorry, I'll get it. Oh, oh God. hi. Hi. Oh, God. What an awful night for a party. Yeah, tell me about it. What are you doing out joyriding in this weather anyway? I've come to see that both of my daughters are going to look picture perfect for the snowflake ball, and it's a good thing I did. The two of you look awful. Oh. Your hair isn't done, and look at your nails have not been done. Mother, I am not going to a ball tonight. Me neither. Oh, now, just wait a minute. You certainly are. We've been planning this thing for two weeks. Now, we have to stand together as a family and present a united front here. Nobody's going to go to a party on a night like this. Yeah, really. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the snowflake ball was canceled. If you listen to the radio The snowflake lately. ball being canceled because of snow, that's a little silly, darling. Now, you both look awful. I've Thank got you. Emilio and Gabriella lined up just waiting with their hot curling irons for the two of you over at Balzano's. <laughs> Um, I, I really don't think Marley's up I'm to not it. feeling very well. All right, what if I have Emilio come over here and do your hair here? He will make a house call. In a blizzard? Yes. Victoria, why don't you come with me? We'll go to the no. salon and get ourselves done. Then we'll bring Emilio back over and he can do Marley. I'm yes, why don't you go, Vicky? I mean, maybe we'll both feel more like a party once we get fixed up a little. Um, I... I really, this is stupid, Mother. You, uh, are you sure you're all right? Positive. <sighs> all right. All right, why don't you just lie down, take a 20-minute nap, you'll feel much better, okay? Okay, goodbye. <sighs> all right, I'm, I'm driving, right. No, okay? you're not. I've got Paul waiting in the driveway. Paul, I'm not going in your limit. Oh, she's being yes, insane. You are you sure you're going to be okay? Do you want your purse? Come on. Oh, I've got my All right, all right. We'll go. Cass, can this second witness say absolutely that it was Marley he saw leaving Jake's building that night? No. Well, that's good, right? I don't know. He does insist that he saw a blonde. So what? Cash, you don't seem very optimistic. I'm cautiously optimistic, Michael. Why? What happened? What do you mean? I mean, the night that you were talking to Marley, that you were going over the cross-examination, did she tell you something? No, nothing new. Why don't you tell me what happened? What did she say? I didn't stop it. <laughs> she raped me. Oh, God. Oh, Marley. Oh, God. She's... She'll be fine. Why don't you tell me what the hell is going on? Cass? I'm sorry, Michael. Yes. Tell me what happened. Michael, you know I'll do everything I possibly can here. Believe me when I tell you, I will do my best. You are sitting here lying to me. So why don't you tell me what happened, all right? Because I'm finding it very hard to believe I'm supposed to trust you right now. Well, fine. You won't give me answers. I'll get them. My own way. Michael. Michael! Problems? You bet. Can you talk about it? Not really. Honey, I don't mean to pry, but um, maybe if you talk in code or something, and then you can get my patent advice, and you won't have to give away any of your secrets. In code, huh? Mm. Somebody I know is trying to handle things all on her own, and quite frankly, she's not handling it very well. And you can't help her? I may be out of my league on this one. Well, can you get her to talk to somebody who can help her? I'm not sure I can get through to her. Oh, honey, you could persuade anybody anything. 
<laughs> my biggest fan. <laughs> Always. Thank you. As usual. You're welcome, as usual. Do me a favor. Drive carefully. I refuse to look at your frowning face all evening. Well, then you should have found someone else to be your escort to the ball. Oh, how could I ask for a more perfect escort than my available, eligible niece? <laughs> Let's order something very light so these gowns won't get any tighter. Aunt than... Liz, I don't want to go to the ball. Of course you do. Why can't you go by yourself? Well, what would you do, my dear? I'm kind of tired. I might go home and curl up with a book. All alone. I'm sorry. Don't be coy with me, Olivia. You want to go to Sam. Is that so terrible? Yes, in my book. Aunt Liz, I think you had better get over this thing you have about Sam. Because we're seeing each other now, and there's nothing you can do about it. Really? Really. I just want to know one thing. Since you and Sam are such an item, where is he? Nine. Yes. Look at that. There must be a foot out there already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Glad you suggested we stay. I have not seen a storm like this in a long time. Do you remember that snowstorm that you and I went up on the roof? <laughs> yeah, that's right. We had a snowball fight. You won, didn't you? Uh, I think that was a draw, though. We came in here where you're freezing to death. We warmed up pretty quickly. Yeah, but I think this storm is much worse. Yeah, I think you're right. Do you mind if I pour myself a brandy? I'm still a little cold. No, go right ahead. Where's the brandy? You know, I forgot to tell you, we keep the liquor in the kitchen now. Very good. Hello? Hi, it's me. Olivia. How was the holiday pageant? It was great. Allie, Allie was the star. I bet she was. Um... Listen, I can't get out of this thing with Aunt Liz, but I'm going to make it as quick as I can, and I should be at your place in two hours tops. Olivia, I don't think that's such a good idea. Don't worry about me. The roads aren't that bad. Yes, they are. In fact, uh, Valley View Road is closed already. Well, I don't have to take Valley View Road to get to your... But Amanda does, to get back to the quarries. Yeah, and I don't think they're going to make it home tonight, Olivia. Well, and they shouldn't. Um, I'm sure Allie is very tired, as it is. Yeah, she's Good exhausted. Money, well, um, I'll call you in the morning, then. Okay, that sounds good. Listen, are you sure you're okay with this? Yes, I'm fine. You don't have to explain, Sam. It's, it's fine. Thanks. So, give Allie a kiss for me. Will do. I'll miss you. Yeah, me too. But I have to go to Aldi. I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, those roads are a mess. Forget it. You want a drink? No, not now. Later. Uh, tell me what you found out about Charlie. Well, you found her. What? In Atlantic City with a brother, Henry. That's fantastic, Brad. Now, uh, hold on to your hat, Congressman, because it's not all that fantastic. She's all right. Well, she's fine, as far as I know. I don't understand. What, what, what are you talking about? She took off. You haven't been able to track her down since. What? You scared her off. Come on, Congressman. Nobody knows that you're looking for her. I told you to find her. Get a number and get back to me, damn it. I can't monitor every move my staff makes from 1,500 miles away, Grant. They did the best they could. I pay you a lot of money. I expect results. Hey, she may turn up. We still have two or three more leads. I've got to find her, Brad.
Alicia. Iris. How oh, nice, Lucas. Don't we look handsome? Iris. You're not dressed. Aren't you hosting the Snowflake Ball this year? I'm afraid not. I'm a little short on holiday spirit this year. Oh. Well, can I get you a table at least? Yeah. Will this one do? If you promise there's not a trapdoor underneath. I think I can promise that. Good. I have a late flight. I hope the airport reopens soon. You're leaving town? Yes, I need a little rest. It's been a very stressful few months. Odd time to be leaving town. Christmas a few weeks away, and Marley's trial is just beginning. Marley's trial is no concern of mine. Look, I'm sorry to barge in like this, but I got to talk to you. Oh, uh, you're going to the ball. Yeah, you are too, huh? Yeah. You look very nice. Oh, thanks. What, what's wrong? Look, I just came from talking to your brother at Top's End, and he's not telling me everything. I'm not sure I follow you. Something has happened with Marley. There's something new. I can feel it, and your brother's holding back. Even if Marley confided in Cass, he couldn't break that confidence. I know, I know, I know. I, I thought maybe you might be able to tell me something. No. And even if I knew anything, I, I couldn't tell you You're anyway. Right. I'm You're sorry. right. You're I, right. I really understand. I, I'm just so angry. I, look, I, I, I shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry. Well, Cass is doing everything he possibly can to help Well, that's Marley, what Dad. he keeps saying, yeah. Right. But but this is my daughter. This is my little girl we're talking about here. She's in trouble, and I can't do anything to help her. It just, it just makes me crazy. I'll go. Wait a second, Michael. Why don't you stay? And I'll, I'll fix you a cup of coffee. Do I look like I, I need a cup of coffee? <laughs> Frankly, yeah, you do. Is, is your date uh, coming soon? No, no. Oh, are you going to meet him there? I'm going alone. It's all right. You can wipe that pity off your face. I did, in fact, have a date, but he got snowed in. So I'm going by myself. Do you want a cup of coffee? To tell you the truth, I, I could use a hot cup of coffee. And, and actually, I don't have to meet Donna Tops for a while yet. Great. Then it's settled. Sorry to bother you again. <clears throat> it's okay. I just can't believe you made it over in this weather. I had to come back. Has something happened to Jake? It's you that I'm worried about. I'm fine. Marley, you shouldn't try to go through something like this alone. Because I couldn't tell anyone what happened with Jake. I didn't want to tell you. You have to talk to somebody about this. It's obviously tearing you up, and I'm not going to take no for an answer. So far, so good, boys and girls. How's your picture, Bruce? It's uh, real pretty. Clear as a bell. Boy, that is close, isn't it? Yeah, too close. Okay, let's get cracking. The first thing you gotta do, Jamie, is you gotta get those bone fragments out of there. The bullet shattered the spinal column right there. See? Yeah, I see. Careful. All right, that's it. Watch it. I'm watching, I'm watching. Jamie. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Uh, that was a big one, huh? Okay, I see one more. How about you? Just one. OK, 
Okay, watch it, Jim. You don't want to nick that blood vessel there at 3 o'clock. Good. Real good. All right, take a closer look around on that. Sponge it off. I can't see it. Sponge, please. All right, it's clear. Okay. Now for the fun part. To do. Of course you don't. That's why there are professionals. You talk this through with somebody. You work it out. I guess you don't understand. I think... I know I can't be, but... I think I'm pregnant. And if I am, it's Jake's. And it happened that night. Get those silk ties clamped firmly to the towel, John. All right, I've got him. What next? How you doing there, Jamie? Let's go, Bruce. I don't want to keep him open any longer than I have to. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I asked you a question. Are you all right? I'm fine. Hold up your hands. What? Hold up your hands in front of the camera so I can see him. Go ahead, Jim. It's pretty good. Nice and steady. You can put him down now. This is the hard part. Now let's keep moving. Lynn. I... I was married to Jake. All I wanted was to... have his child. And now... after this... It's almost funny, isn't it? <laughs> you need to get this settled tonight, don't you? I don't know how. <laughs> you're gonna go to the hospital, you're gonna have a pregnancy test. Okay. Get your coat. Um, I broke some glass in the bathroom. I just wanna clean it up before Vicky gets home, okay? I don't understand a word of what you're saying. Having pro She asleep? Yeah, she's out cold. Um, there's a, a cat bowl in the bathroom. Yeah, I bought Olivia a kitten, and, uh, well, she keeps it with her unless she comes over to spend the night. <clears throat> Why don't I help you make up the, the bed over here? We could do that. Uh, no, no, that's all right. I'll sleep on the cot. No, 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 I'll sleep on the cot. I don't mind, really. Okay. I've got it, really. It's okay. No, no, let me help you. I can help you out. I just changed the sheets this morning, so... Great. I'm just going to sketch up here for a little while, so I'll use a smaller light so it doesn't bother you. No, you won't bother me. I'll be fine. That's it. Steady. Okay, gently clamp it. Going in slightly to the left. 
I see. You can do this, Jim. You just take your time. Give me a minute. Okay. All right, that's it. Somebody clamp that bleeder. You, Mr. Stafford. Good. Jamie to the left. Okay. I've got the clamp on the bullet. It's wedged in tight. Now tell me how to pull this thing out of here without severing his spinal cord. All right, what you're going to need to do, Jamie, is to pull up and away from the cord just as slowly and as steadily as you possibly can. If you see any bone frags in there that you missed or you couldn't see until you moved the bullet, you got to get them out first. How do I do both? Okay, that's where you come in, John. While he holds the bullet up, before he pulls back, look for frags. And if they're in there, you get them out. They may look small, but they're enough to sever his spinal cord. Forceps, please. All right, Jamie. Go ahead. Okay. I've got to pull up now, John. All right. Anything? No. No, it looks clear. Good. Now, you're going to need to pull more towards you, Jamie, and then up and then out. And if you do that, then you've got it. The most important thing of all is to remember that that bullet is We've got a blackout. Wait for the generators to kick in. All right, everybody freeze, all right? Anesthesia, do you have power? No. I'm switching over to manual. Bruce, do you hear me? Dr. Nelson. We've lost the hookup, Jamie. It looks like it's just you and me now, Jake. Come on, surprise me. Once in our life, let's work together. All the emergency generators have clicked in, Jamie. Take him down a little deeper, Doc. I want his muscles as light as possible before I go back in. You got it. You ready? I had the damn thing in my hand, John. Jimmy, we had to wait until the lights came back on and we were sure he was stable. Now, let's go. BP. 110 over 70. Heart rate steady at 110. Ronnie, try to get Nelson back on the line. Yes, Jamie. John, steady those clamps for me. Wait a minute. All set. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Jake, don't you know what happens to little boys who get too cocky? You want in, Iris? I'm going to lose. Badly. Worry about yourself, I never lose. Please. I invented the game. So nice of all of you to come to my little party. Your funeral will be a party. Mind if I smoke? Why don't you save yourself the embarrassment of losing it? Cash in your chips and get on with it. Get on with what? It's over, Jim. Jim. We're just getting started. The game is done. The stakes are as high as you want. We've known each other a long time. Trust me when I tell you this. 
to know the roads are not passable. We can't get to the ball. Fine. Why don't we stay here at Tops all night long? Well, we may. Now, are you going to sit down and have dinner with me, or are you going to pout about Sam for the rest of your natural life? Haven't you ever been in love, Aunt Liz? Ah, yes, I have. That's why I know you're not. Drinking alone. Wonderful role model for your constituents, Congressman. All due respect, Mrs. Hudson, but uh, find another table. Oh, he's charming, too. I still can't figure out how you got reelected. Then the voters have voted for the wrong man before, haven't they? Lucas, don't tell me Felicia's left you yet again. <laughs> Iris, why are you leaving town? Because I don't want to be around for the holiday season with tacky little Paulina. And what if the police want to ask you some more questions? They won't. You sure of that? Lucas, what do you want with me? Iris, believe it or not, all I want you to do is be careful. You are no longer a part of my life. Your choice, I recall. Iris, aren't you afraid the police are going to think you're trying to hide something? No, why do you think I'm trying to hide something? I really have gotten to know you, haven't I? And all for naught. If you were involved in this case, you will be found out. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Stacy! Hi, it's Olivia Matthews calling. Oh, hi, Olivia. I need a favor. From me? Amanda and Allie are snowed in across the hall. We're over at Sam's. Yes. Could you be like a good neighbor and just go over and knock on the door? Are you serious? Stacy, please. I know that you care about Sam and Amanda and you don't want them to be uncomfortable and we both know that neither one of them is ready for this. <sighs> Look, I can't just go over there and knock on the door. First of all, how do I explain that I even know that they're there? Well, don't. Act surprised and offer them your place, since it's bigger and all. Um, no, I really don't want to get involved in this. Stacy, think of how awkward this must be for Sam. He could really use your help. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I owe you one, Stacy. Yeah. Big time. Can I Hi. use your phone uh, to phone my mechanic? Because my car won't start. Yeah, I'll be my guest. <sighs> Are you still thinking about bagging the ball? No, I'm not thinking about it anymore. I am staying in tonight. Well, I tell you what. Uh, if this doesn't work out, I might have to ride out this storm with you. Good. Then I'll fix us some more coffee. Great. I didn't think we were ever going to make it. This blizzard is a real killer. Why don't we go right to Dr. Holmes' office? I called ahead. She's still here. What if someone sees me? I'll make up some excuse, okay? Okay. Cass? Yeah. Why did Jake do this to me? I don't know. Come on. Instruments account, the trays are complete, Ronnie. Sponge count is correct. I'll give the post op orders in the recovery room. Why don't you get off your feet? I'll help transport them. But I call recovery and tell them to expect us in five minutes. These vital signs are stable. It's moving. Thank you. This is going to cost you everything you've got. I'm in. 
Me too. Foolish boy. Jake, you never did. I do this time. Aces and eights. Let you in here. You did, darling. You can't play this hand. We're already in. Us, Jake, doesn't it? That's what I've been trying to tell you all along. You were never content with what you had. You always wanted more. And this time, you're going to pay. Vicky's got all the aces. You can't have an ace! Fair, Jake. You never did. You can't play around with people's lives the way you did. And get away with it. All those accounts past due. Child baby. You took one chance too many. This isn't fair. Good news. Let's get this man into the recovery room. I've already alerted them to have lots of warm blankets. Will he need a respirator? No, no, I think he's doing fine. He had two about in about an hour. D Dr. Frame, his blood pressure is 50 pal. What? Jamie, his rate is 30. He doesn't have a pulse. Call a code. We have cardiac arrest. Get the crash cart in here now! Next, cowboy up for the... Sam? Hmm. Do you have a shirt that I could sleep in? Yeah, sure. There you go. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll... I'll be right up there. I saw Michael leave. Uh, maybe he was on his way to the snowflake. No, he was going to meet me here. I'm the one that's got the limo. Ah. Oh, well, never mind. I guess I'll just go home. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I hope you're not driving in that condition. Don't you ever mind your own business. You have no manners. Mm. And you have no sense of humor. I don't think you're very funny. Really? Your wit overwhelms me. Wait for the next one. Forget it. You just have to grin and bear it for the next 30 seconds.
Oh, no. Thirsty? Put that thing down and help us get out of here. I'm afraid I'm not qualified. If this is your idea of a joke, it's not funny. Oh, it's no joke, Mrs. H. I'm afraid we are stuck between floors. Sure you don't want to join me. Yes, please. Get me two amps of Narcan. Reverse all the narcotics. All IVs wide open. I've got it. Nothing, Jamie. Let me take it, Jamie. Okay. Damn it, Jake. Not after all this. Come on. Don't give up on me now, you bastard. What do you mean I lose? I never lose! You always lose. You just never admit it. You cheated. You can't win like this. You cheated all of us. And you cheated on me over and over and over again. And this time, you are not going to get a second chance, Jake. Brenda, Kelly, and Donna hang with the gals of Beverly Hills and relive their rocky friendships, greatest heartaches, and ugliest fights. Catch back-to-back -back episodes of 90210, today starting at 5, only on SoapNet. There's less dryouts, too. 